Okay, my friends, now we're going to go back into the way, way back machine and go all the way back to the 50s with this gentleman, Mr. Bruce Randall. Here you see him in his bulked up condition. Doing, and it's an interesting thing that uh, he did try some squats along the way, but he never used it as a, a regular exercise. Uh, but like every, every so much of a weight increment, he would try again and That'll be described here during the video, but here's his before and after. His before numbers really weren't too bad, so he had a pretty good base. He wasn't, you know, he was in a little decent shape before he started this whole situation. Uh, and then he he was actually uh, did some Olympic lifting and uh, talks about having a, a pretty decent total as uh, as he was getting into all this, and then he was in the Marines, where um, he met this guy that was ended up being his coach. Here he is, bulked up. And uh, you see there's a couple pictures where he's using these crazy dumbbells. It looks like they have uh, like 25s maybe on the inside and 20s on the outside. So pretty, pretty heavy dumbbells. And then uh, he talks about breaking his leg in seven places before he started the weight training several years before. Here he's again with the crazy 620 it says on the bar. Kind of hard to count with the but uh, I'm sure it's legit 620 on there. But any, because of his leg being broken in so many places, he opted for doing the good morning really heavy as his like primary bulking exercise. And it talks about that like in contrast to, uh, to Hepburn and Anderson, who both, uh, you know, similarly tried to get strong by bulking up. Uh, rather than using drugs. And, and people say, ah, oh, it's the 50s, they didn't have drugs. They did as early as the 50s. They weren't widely used. And I don't think Bruce did them, and I don't think Hepburn or Anderson did them either. I think they used um, bulking up uh, and, you know, training with massive weights to get big. Here he is. This is um, from a pamphlet or a booklet that I have that I got with a, a billiard barbell set that I have. It's actually pretty cool. came with a bench, uh, and the bench opens up, and it has like a whole routine on there uh, where you can keep track of your progress and stuff, and the billiard barbells and stuff, and it came with this book, uh, which I'll show another couple pictures along the road. Um, he did end up. Uh, being a spokesman, and here he is. Uh, now that says they chose him for Mr. Universe. He was the Mr. Universe, NEBBA, in 59. Now here it says they chose him for this in 60, but uh, he was not in 60, Mr. Universe, actually. Um, so here he is. He's talking about how he got started with this whole bulking up idea. He didn't have in mind that, you know, I'm going to bulk up to 400 pounds and I'm going to trim down and become Mr. Universe. It just kind of worked out that way gradually. And you'll see the details of uh, how initially he just wanted to, uh, wanted to play football for the Marine Corps team. So he felt like he needed to bulk up a little bit. And uh, interestingly, as he started out, it seemed like he really concentrated on arms, as shown here, which is, uh, which is a little bit different than uh i'm sure he was doing some other type of trainings in the marine corps here he is um this is from musclememory.com which is another great resource but uh six two uh now here it says 415 which eh, i never saw that he went quite that high he went up to 401 according to the articles um, but it goes to show you from one source to another, you'll get little little discrepancies like that. So you got to be careful what you put down as fact. Um, so the weights that he listed are, are pretty decent weights. He wasn't weak and he talks about that, uh, you know, he'd been chopping wood and stuff like that. So uh, just from doing some physical work. Uh, and you'll see... Um, there's, uh, I think, four or five magazine covers that he made that I'll, I'll show along the road here. When uh, he talks about that he was able to do let or arms every day, which is kind of unusual, but uh, 
again, you know, different strokes for different folks. It seemed like it worked for him. And of course, he mentioned that uh, couldn't do that with the with the bigger body parts. Now here he is in his in his Mister Universe shape. Honestly, his legs aren't all that big. They're ripped, but uh, seems like his over his upper body overpowers his legs a little bit. But that really wasn't unusual um, with those guys in the fifties. Uh, here he's talking about. Um, after having getting discharged from the Marines, there he is at uh, at one eighty seven, which is about about as low as he got before he started bulking up. Um, but uh, you know, to win the Mister Universe, he was more like uh, two and a quarter. So uh, he went from one eighty seven all the way up to four hundred one, and then just trimmed back down to two and a quarter. So he did, uh, and I would have to say, he put on probably forty pounds of muscle during this whole. Of course, he put on a whole lot of other weight that was a muscle. There he is eating. Uh, he talks about, you know, the expense of buying all this stuff. Uh, and he talks about that the Marine Corps feeds you pretty well. So he would try to try to grab extra food, you know, every chance he get at every at every mess hall meal. And he tells some stories about that. Here he is, three fifty. And he says he's very strong. He, he uh, and he did end up doing deadlifts, um, as it says. He claimed to have done seven seventy. Uh, you would think if you could uh, do a good morning with uh, six eighty something, that you could probably deadlift seven seventy. Um, and a, a lot of people don't like good mornings that they feel that they're they're dangerous and they're tough on the back. Uh, I know some people that swear by him. My friend Don Coons, in fact, who's uh, 72, I believe now, and still does all the power lifts with good weight, uh, still trains regularly, and uh, still has a good squat, and he loves good mornings. Uh, here he is talking about having eaten too much uh, not fully cooked rice, and it was a pretty bad experience. <laughs> Um, and again, he talks about asking a friend to suggest, uh, exercises that would build great strength and of course always comes up squat, uh, and he decided not to do them, at least as part of his regular routine. Here he is again. This is, this is from that, that booklet I got with the, with the Billard barbell set. Um, so here he mentions being 245 and he just throws... He's, he had failed with uh, with 190 initially at his later weight. And here when, at 245, he did 300. Uh, and then several months later, at 280, he did 405. So on. Until he gets up to, uh, well, in the sixes when he's at his uh, at his heaviest weight. It's funny here, he's, there's a couple of them on uh, Hard Gainer. There's two different... Uh, Hard gainer covers that he's on. Um, so here it is. I continue my training throughout the summer. Uh, trained an average of three to four days a week. Uh, and he talks about doing uh, doing a uh, Olympic meet there, and I ended up totaling eight forty five. I think it said for. For the three lifts, which is decent, you know, it's it's no slouch, um, you know, and he was uh, his weight was getting up there. Um, he was talking about uh, going 342 now, so he gained 139 pounds in 14 months, and uh, imagine he was kind of self-conscious. Uh, 
with everybody seeing him at this new bulked up weight. Uh, and here he's talking about, you know, the exercises that he was doing, what kind of weights he was doing when he was at this, uh, a three second pause, uh, bench press at 482 isn't bad. Uh, decline bench, uh, for clean and press. Now here, he, uh, he was also mentioned in doing, uh, front squats with some just insane weight. And I have to think, um, now I'm just guessing here, but th this apparatus that I'm showing here is something that Bob Peoples made up. And, uh, I think maybe, uh, maybe Randall had some sort of a, something that he worked at that, uh, I don't think he stood there and held a front squat in the normal manner with, you know, over a thousand pounds sitting there on his clavicle. I think he probably had to have some type of, um, device that you, you know, put over you to hold the weight and then did the quarter squats or even, you know, just very small partial squats with that insane weight, which is another thing that Anderson did. And Anderson indeed did train with Bob Peoples for a while. And they both were into um, just getting stuff from the junkyard and making all kinds of crazy equipment. Uh, so now, now he's talking about, uh, there he is again, in his, in his bulked up shape. What he looked like when he was uh, 400 pounds. I think that middle picture, he was not quite four. I think he was like 380 something. Uh, so now he's talking about going in the other direction and uh, starts going for walks, again, jogging after a while. Because he talks about the benefits of run, but he, you know, when you're 400 pounds, here he is again. This is with the uh, billard barbells, the plastic ones that I think. Um, like in those days, in the in the early '60s, and I, this is before my time, even because I was only born in '60. Um, he uh, he actually worked at this, uh, I'm, I forget if it was Sears or J.C. Penney or one of the department stores, um, and was kind of hawking the uh, the billard equipment for him. So that's what that last uh, that picture was from. Here he talks about his routine as he's as he's cutting down. He is on hard gainer again. Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, bulking up like 140 pounds and then losing a lot of it back as quick as he did. Uh, this is hard gaining. So here he is talking about doing 75,000 sit-ups, and uh, which helped him reduce his waist by 33 inches. Uh, as well as giving him more faith in himself. Uh, I was constantly putting personal goals. There he is with, uh, again, doing an insane... Good morning. Where the bar is like almost, almost too far over, really, and it's like, Ugh. But that uh, didn't seem to bother him, didn't seem to hurt him at all. Here he is, in conclusion. So, heck of a story, I think. I don't know if anybody wants to emulate that whole situation. But there you have it. Thank you for watching. Hope you'll consider subscribing. I thank those who have subscribed recently. I appreciate that. And, hey, if you have any ideas for next videos, please let me know. And I'm out.